Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest Criminal Enterprises DLC videos where I show the best fully upgraded Criminal Enterprises DLC cars in terms of lap time and top speed. For all the information you need about that series, check the original video, but otherwise, let's see where the new SM722 falls into that list. And for the Criminal Enterprises DLC, when it comes to lap time, it's in 6th place for the DLC out of 7 cars in total so far. It's a fraction behind the Omnus EGT for lap time, but it has a much better top speed as we'll see later in the video. A 1 minute 4.481 isn't too bad of a lap time. I guess it, it's kind of got the performance that it's not going to wow anybody, but it's also not going to disappoint anybody either. It's a pretty bog standard sports car. It's got the same sort of performance as things like the Spectre, the Bestia GTS, the Serrano. It's a C tier sports car and it, it fits perfectly into that tier. It, it's pretty much, as I say, just a bog standard sports car. When it comes to top speed, it fares a little bit better being in 5th place for the DLC so far. 15th place in the sports class for top speed, 123.8 miles per hour which is a very respectable top speed for a sport class car but then again it is just a bog standard top speed when you're comparing it with some of the newer breed of sport cars that are basically just glorified supercars it can't really compete especially when it comes to the hsw vehicles for lap time or top speed but obviously with it being 40th place in the sport class that's just because sports has so many cars in it now you know a one minute 4.4 is a pretty respectable lap time for a sports car sports car and back in the day that would have been you know one of the very top lap times for a sports car but as it is now there's more than 90 vehicles in the sports class it's ridiculous so even though it's 40th place for lap time it's it's still pretty decent again bog standard sports car level of performance obviously when it's going up against the fastest sports car from this DLC so far the Corsita it is a little bit behind obviously over two seconds as you can see in the comparison and then we'll see a comparison for the top speed as well with this and the Corsita it's again left behind a little bit there because really you know the Corsita again is is one of those that it's one of those top sports cars that's more of a glorified supercar really in terms of its performance 131 miles per hour for its top speed is very good for the Corsita but 123.8 is pretty respectable for the SM722 as well so fifth place in sports 15th place in sports considering the sports class is 90 cars strong those are some fairly respectable positions for top speed just the SM722 is a little bit further down when it comes to lap time. But, you know, it's not too bad. Again, it's not going to wow you, but it's not going to disappoint either. It's pretty much bog standard sports car pace. Is it worth 2.1 million? I don't know. Maybe just because of the kind of car that it is and what it's based off. But from a performance perspective, it's a bog standard sports car. So that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.